Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So right here is a ponytail palm tree that I've had for just about two years now. So this right here is the original container that this came in. And while it's kind of cute, it's just not quite my aesthetic. So what I want to do today is I want to replant this into this pot here. I just picked this up at Walmart today. I really like it. It's really just basic and simple. It's white with some like grayish natural concrete looking colors in it. Looks just like this. Has like the little stopper down here at the bottom so no liquids can get out. So this um, fits one to one and a half quart foliage. This is from Better Homes and Gardens. So it looks like on the bottom. Has like the little feet and everything. So I just like this a lot better than this. I'm also thinking about dressing it up a little bit so I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up this bag of rocks so these were only a dollar. Just some natural rocks to put on top. I think that might be kind of cute. A lot of people tend to do that with their simplistic type of cactuses or palm plants. You name it. So I figured I might give that a shot. I also went and picked up this Miracle Grow Cactus Palm and Citrus Potting Mix. It says that it's great for succulents, it's a fast draining formula. So when I'm at work and people ask me about potting soil for these type of plants, this is what I always recommend. So this is what I picked up. So I'm just going to lift this up out of here. As you guys can see that there are some roots coming down through. Now ponytail palms and plants like these, they don't mind being their roots being kind of tighter. You don't want them to be root bound, but they can be tight in confined spaces. So that's why this isn't that much larger than this pot. They're relatively same. I think this one is just a little bit deeper. So I'm not really upgrading the size, just kind of changing the pot a little bit. It will give it some more depth, like I said. So it is getting a little bit more room, but not too much. So here's what the soil looks like. It's a bit different than regular garden soil. It's kind of a bit more drier. And it's just something that works better with these types of plants. So right here I have a Walmart shopping bag. I'm just going to place my palm in here. I'm just going to work on getting this so this will come out. But I don't want to make a mess so that is what the bag is for. I'm just going to slowly take this out. I don't want to damage the roots so I'm going to try and pull those right up through. Alright, that worked pretty good. So I'm just going to kind of work through this a little bit. So I'm just kind of lightly brushing off some of the excess dirt. As you can see, everything is still together. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to set this in here because I kind of want a guide to see. I want that to sit basically just like that. Just how it is is about the height that I want it. So I can kind of go in now and I can fill in with my new soil. So I'm just taking the soil, I'm just kind of pushing it against the base of the tree and then I'm just going to go around and just fill it in and it will naturally just go right down into any little crevice that is down there and it will fill in. So I'm going to finish doing this all the way around my ponytail palm and I'll be back when I have it done. Something I want to mention is when you put in your soil Make sure that you pack it down and make sure that you don't fill the soil up above the root line. Right where the roots start, which I have one little one right here that I can see. The roots start right here. This is where my soil meets it. I'm not going to go above this at all. They do not like that. So I have this packed in. As with any type of plant that you are replanting, make sure that you keep the soil right handy. I have mine right here. I have plenty left. But after you water this a few times, your soil will settle and you might need to add a little bit more. So just keep it in hand. Do not throw it away. Do not give it away. Keep it on hand because you probably will end up using it again just to kind of top off a little bit. So I'm going to go through it. I'm just going to water this 
ever so slightly just a tiny tiny little bit these type of plants do not require major watering every now and then is fine just a little bit and I think that should be good I think I got all the areas covered with just a little bit of moisture and that's it doesn't take a whole lot so I'm just going to take these rocks that I picked up at Dollar Tree that I showed you guys and I'm just going to add some of these on top because I think it will look kind of pretty and I'll just add a little something to the container. So here what the rocks look like up close. They're just a mixture of smallish sized natural looking stones. So I'm just trying to fit these in wherever they kind of look like they might work well. This one kind of sits kind of funky. So I might be able to put that one in like that. There's really not that much rhyme or reason to this. Just kind of placing these wherever I think they fit. Oh, I like that one. I want that one to kind of sit on top. It's pretty. So some of these smaller parts, I'm just trying to squeeze in some pieces that might fit better. Let's see. I just have a few tiny little spots here that I can fill in. And some of these smaller rocks. So I'm just kind of turning it around now, making sure that I have stones placed where I want them. I don't want them to move around too much. I think I have pretty much everything clear. There is one little spot here that I kind of want to add something to. Maybe a black. Don't want to add a black. Let's see. I'll add that there. So I'm trying to hold the leaves up so you guys can see what this looks like around here now with the rocks in here. I really like this look. It's super, super my aesthetic. I absolutely love it. So here is what my ponytail palm tree looks like now. I absolutely love how this looks. This is completely my aesthetic right here. If you guys are wondering, this pot right here is a concrete pot from Better Homes and Gardens. I picked this up at Walmart for $4.97. The potting soil that you saw me use for cactus, um, palms, and citrus plants, that was also $4.97 for that bag. And then the rocks were a dollar from Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you guys a little bit of inspiration. If you have plants like these at home, just some ideas of what you can do with them. Definitely check out Dollar Tree before you go to different places if you want to grab accents because my local Dollar Trees had some really cute things. So check them out first. Alright guys, until my next video, I will see you later. Bye.